And that was Kone Yaya with his trap. Because whichever way you look at it, King Osanga was actually the last man on the ball there. And uh, he stood the chance of scoring. But here is the penalty. It easily, easily dispatched. Quite confidently, without any hesitation at all. And that man has posed the problem all along. Yaya Kone is his name. FC Ifanyoba break the deadlock. Idris well, Ababa was trying to do a robot uh, Kidiaba, but that was a super finish from the spot. He simply gave him the eye job and uh, sent Ebeka Wabulu the, the wrong way. That's the first goal of the Super 4. It comes from 12 yards and it's gone to FC Fanyuba, whose fans are waving all the flags they've got in the stands. So one nil it is to the Anabra Warriors, but we've got quite some distance left here. Maka, but he knew he was crowded out and uh, he sucked the free kick and got it. And I have a feeling Jimoni has uh, gone to insert himself inside that box. He is wonderful with headers. He tried it a couple of times, and this is unbelievable. Would you believe it? Oh, Emmanuel Daniel just saving his own blushes there. That was almost a, a, an embarrassing goal, really. He went for the ball, got his palms to it, but couldn't stop it. <laughs> that was uh, <laughs> almost comical to watch. But uh, trust me, I thought that's what he, they had missed in the first the two games of the tournament. Fanyoba doing quite well in the midfield, stringing the passes together. Fanyoba. That pass from Yaya Kone. Going the wrong way. Ochemedo holding on to the ball too long. He's, out, he's just lucky uh, to have gotten that free kick of his marker. Oh, the opening game against uh, Rivers United, it was goalless at halftime. In the second half, they had to. Rivers United, it was goalless at halftime. In the second half, they had to. I could have had more. And there they come with the chance. King Osanga, oh, really taking his time. And finally, perhaps he waited too late. That was a golden opportunity to draw level for FC. Uh, I, I don't know. He can't blame anybody for this one. It was a good ball set up for him. He done all the hard work, cuts inside, very easily beats Usman and Sani. Look at that. I think maybe the deflection also helped, but he really should be shooting here. He didn't need to take those extra touch. Neither side here has had the long spell of possession, but it... Neither side here has had the long spell of possession, but it's Sifanyo back coming forward now, looking for a chance. To get uh, the action, the flags. But it's Sifanyo back coming forward now, looking for a chance to get uh, the action. The flag stays down. King Osanga. Osanga is lining up to take a shot, but it was a quick shot that uh, he took eventually. Kenichi Asuhashi has surprised uh, Chia Suhashi has surprised. Uh, Whenever he said, well, that's the final band, great pass there coming forward. That's the final band, great pass there coming forward. And that should do it, really. Again, it's missed. And the ball just bubbling around there. Start of the second half. I've been uh, piling up the pressure here. There they come again. A speculative effort from. A long, long way out. There was no problem at all. Well, that can one move. The King of Sangha again. He's so full of running. He's so full of guile. And it's Sapsi again. He's so full of running. He's so full of guile. And it's Sapsi Fanyuba that come charging in. Trying out King of Sangha with the Super 4. There he certainly has got himself a contract based on his performances so far in this game. That's a free kick to FC Fanyuba. So far, Wicked Torres unable to take... Uh, there you can see Wicked Torres in all sorts of trouble. But that was good skill by Yaya Kone. 
but he was out of the equation by Yao Hassan. Stadium as well, it's an absolutely brilliant atmosphere. Now, if you're you, but I see a moderator of some sort, as we see Ayakone, the attacker, coming in. Perhaps coming in for Pascal Seca. Young player, at some period he was at Ehimba. Because it's who hasn't been there. And Godwin let fly, but poorly directed. Can it be salvaged? Yes. Kone brings that out. Unfortunately, they couldn't. Another bite at the apple. Straight shots that was, but yeah, yeah, he would have. Um, uh, a, a sloppy attempt from Godwin Obaje, who's is a shadow of the player that's called this game. What I like about Ifan Yuba is that when they want to defend, all their players bar one Think to help them get back to this game. What I like about Ifan Yuba is that when they want to defend, all their players bar one all come behind. It was Joshua Obaje that was clearing that ball from the arc from the tree on that occasion, leaving only Ayakone up front. They defend a mass and attack a mass. Now, if I was a fly on the wall in Fire Bass uh, dressing room at half time, I think all your prep would have told these guys because he mentioned it to me when, when we spoke before the game. It's about belief. He said they, they, they've not had that belief that they're like two different teams when they play in the Navy and when they go away from home. So tonight, maybe we're seeing the. I'll be waiting for that delivery from the Ayakone. And uh, he had to punch away. Oh, but there he goes again. He brings down his man a second time. The referee is there. He warned him a moment ago. I don't think this uh, deserves a yellow card. But it's all cutting up for him, or rather against him. Because of the tackle on Yaya Kone uh, from Obi Nanwobudo. Lofty reputations. And that is Ifan Yuba looking to the, the first seat where we are. And oh, that's the timely intervention. The referee says it's a penalty, I think. It is a penalty to FC Ifan Yuba. Rangers players do not seem to agree. Let's see exactly how that penalty came about. FC Fanyu by went attacking, clearly a penalty there. Their hands were not in natural position. We find it delightful when such uh, performances come from the uh, referees. Yao Preko on his feet now. All lifted up. Ah, that's uh, well, would you say it's a deliberate handball? It was deliberate, but it was of no effect at all. Uh, that's Everton and the rest of the technical bench of uh, FC Fanyuba. They have a free kick. The flight of it was clearly aware of uh, what uh, Kujupa could uh, get to. It was already aware of the, the lines uh, before Kujupa could make any contact with it. You can see. Help them get back to this game. What I like about Fanyuba is that when they want to defend, all their players by one all come behind. Just at half time, I think all your prep would have told these guys because he mentioned it to me when, when we spoke before the game. It's about belief. He said they, they, they've not had that belief that they're like two different teams when they play in the Navy and when they go away from home. So tonight, maybe we are seeing the emergence. The, the